morning guys welcome back to my channel shelf life extension my name is Alexis and today we are going to be doing a bookshelf tour so if you watched my previous video you would have seen that I uh, mentioned having two separate bookshelves now I have my red bookshelf and then also my TBR bookshelf in my in my room this is our spare bedroom if you've been with me for a while you would know that eh. anyways so I'm just gonna take you through everything pretty much on these shelves, all the books that I've read. I'm not going to really go into any of the trinkets or anything because a lot of them are not mine. They are just here because we don't have a lot of space anymore. Otherwise, sit back, relax, and enjoy. All right, coming at you from behind the camera, guys. So this entire first shelf is pretty much comprised of all of the manga series that I own, which is not a lot, considering manga is so expensive and, you know... The series can go on forever, and you know, I just don't really want to be investing in that, particularly since I have found sites and apps that will let you, uh, read them for free. So, uh, yeah, this little camera here, just as a little side note, I got this while I was deployed in Kyrgyzstan, and I brought it home for my mom. Otherwise, as you can see, I have a lot of skip beat. These are the three-in-one volumes that I got. I got all the way from one to volume 27 before they, um, I pretty much ran out. They were coming out with three-in-one still, but I wasn't willing to wait that long. So then I just started buying the individual ones, and I haven't purchased any other of the recent ones, obviously because money, that's okay. I also have a Vampire Hunter D actual book because they started writing books. I keep it up here obviously because it's based off of the anime and I haven't actually read this. This belongs to my sister but obviously for the sake of categorizing some things I just keep it here. So the next one that I have up here on my shelf is the first volume of Kimi ni Tudoke or otherwise known as From Me to You. I love this anime. I've watched it on Hulu. There's two seasons. It's great. I love it. It's just really cute but I thought maybe I should just start reading it because I love it so much and then I could start collecting it. But again, since it's so expensive to collect manga, I decided against it, but I do have the first one just for kind of like nostalgic reasons. I also have the first five volumes of So Cute It Hurts. And this follows a set of two identical twins who switch places. One's a boy and one's a girl. And the girl goes to the all boys school in place of her brother because he's failing. But while she's there, she starts falling in love with one of her classmates. And it's just about all the shenanigans that she then gets into because of that. You know, good stuff. And then the next series that I have is the first nine volumes of A Devil and Her Love Song. I haven't continued this one mainly because it got really redundant. And again, it just cost so much to kind of collect manga. And I just, I didn't want to put my money towards that anymore considering they're such quick reads. So it just wasn't worth it for me. But the story kind of follows this girl who is kind of a social outcast. She's just really socially awkward and has deficiencies I will say when it comes to understanding social cues and interacting with other people but it's about her journey through high school and how she finds friends and love in spite of all that so it is cute but eh. All right moving on into my main books I categorize them by um, last name of the author nothing super special nothing super fancy nothing by genre or anything like that maybe in the future I will but otherwise let's just go ahead and get started. So I have The Power by Naomi Alderman, Darcy's Story, A Pride and Prejudice Retelling by Janet Aylmer, Letters from Sky by Jessica Brockmull, which I just talked about in my recent video, Tracer by Rob Buffard. I have the first four books in the other series written by Ann Bishop to include Written in Red, Murder of Crows, Marked in Flesh, and Vision in Silver, Proxima by Stephen Baxter, Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen. Catch Me If You Can by Frank Abagnale, The Inheritance by Louisa May Alcott, Longborn by Joe Baker, Of Poseidon, Of Triton, and Of Neptune by Anna Banks, Shadow and Bone by Leigh Bardugo, The Waking Land by Callie Bates, The Guns Above by Robin Bennis, Drowning Instinct by Isla J. Bick, Fallout by S.A. Bodine, Dark Run by Mike Brooks, Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte, and then Red Rising by Pierce Brown. A Little Princess by Frances Hodgson Burnett. The Goddess Test series to include The Goddess Test, Goddess Interrupted, and The Goddess Inheritance by Amy Carter. Pawn by Amy Carter. The first three books in the Magical Bakery Mystery series by Bailey Cates to include Brownies and Broomsticks, Bewitched, Bothered, and Biscotti, and Charms and Chocolate Chips. Jurassic Park and Lost World by Michael Crichton. The Deep and The Troop by Nick Cutter. Solace by Gail Carriger in the manga format. 
the entire Parasol Protectorate series by Gail Carriger to include Soulless, Changeless, Blameless, Heartless, and Timeless. The first two books in the Custard Protocol series by Gail Carriger to include Prudence and Imprudence. Randomly, the second book in the Finishing School series by Gail Carriger, Curtsies and Conspiracies. There are four books, but I have the second one because it was given to me as a gift. Though I will say, I have read them. And they're great. How to Fall by Jane Casey. The Graceling Trilogy by Kristen Kishore to include Graceling, Bitter Blue, and Fire. Ready Player One by Ernest Cline. And The Invisible Library by Genevieve Cogman. On top I have Fierce on the Page by Sage Cohen. When It Happens by Suzanne Colasanti. Sweet Shop of Dreams by Jenny Colgan. Surprise, surprise, the Hunger Games series to include The Hunger Games, Catching Fire, and Mockingjay by Suzanne Collins. Leviathan Wakes by James S.A. Corey. The Strange Angels series by Lily St. Crow to include Strange Angels and Betrayed. Jealousy, Reckoning, and Defiance, Nameless by Lily St. Crow. The first two books in the Maze Runner series by James Dashner to include The Maze Runner and The Scorch Trials. Deep Midnight by Shannon Drake. The Angel Fall Trilogy by Susan E. to include Angel Fall, World After, and End of Days. Child of a Hidden Sea by A.M. Della Monica. Big Girl Panties by Stephanie Ivanovich. And Jane Steele by Lindsay Fay. The first three books in the Iron Druid Chronicles by Kevin Hearn to include Hounded, Hammered, and Hexed. The Best Medicine by Elizabeth Haley. This is a strip, so there's no cover to show you. The first six books in the Anita Blake Vampire Hunter series by Laurel K. Hamilton to include Guilty Pleasures, The Laughing Corpse, Circus of the Damned, Bloody Bones, The Lunatic Cafe, and The Killing Dance. And I do technically have the next two in that series, but I'm going to talk about those in my next video. Sphinx's Princess and Sphinx's Queen by Esther Fresner. Nobody's Princess and Nobody's Prize by Esther Fresner. Billy and Me by Giovanna Fletcher. All I Know Now, On the Other Side, and All That She Can See by Carrie Hope Fletcher, as well as Winter Snow by Carrie Hope Fletcher. Hey. The Great Gatsby by F. Scott Fitzgerald. The Likeness and in the Woods by Tana French. Hush Hush and Crescendo by Becca Fitzpatrick. Eon and Iona by Allison Goodman. Stardust by Neil Gaiman. Eve and Adam by Michael Grant and Catherine Applegate. Letters to the Lost by Iona Gray. Tin Men by Christopher Golden. And Dead Wedge Walking by Kim Harrison. We have What the Night Knows by Dean Koontz. The Fire Sermon by Francesca Haig. A Discovery of Witches by Deborah Harkness. Sword of Fire and Sea by Aaron Hoffman. Eleanor Oliphant is Completely Fine by Gail Honeyman. Wool by Hugh Howey. The Devouring Trilogy by Simon Holt to include The Devouring, Solstice, and Fearscape. Splintered by A.G. Howard, The Broken Girls by Simone St. James, An Inquiry into Love and Death and Lost Among the Living by Simone St. James, The Haunting of Maddie Claire, Silence for the Dead, and The Other Side of Midnight by Simone St. James. All of my Susanna Kearsley novels and to include The Rose Garden, Mariana, The Firebird, The Shadowy Horses, A Desperate Fortune, Named of the Dragon, Every Secret Thing, Bellwether, Season of Storms, The Splendor Falls, and The Winter Sea. Slay and Rescue by John Moore, To Kill a Mockingbird by Harper Lee, Kiss the Earl by Gina Lamb, another strip, Queen's Own by Mercedes Lackey, I don't have the cover for that anymore, A Whole Lot of Debbie McComber to include Mr. Miracle and Glad Tidings, Alaskan Holiday, Merry and Bright, Twelve Days of Christmas, Starry Night, and Dashing Through the Snow. The Everything Box by Richard Cadry. If I Have a Wicked Stepmother, Where's My Prince by Melissa Cantor. The Wicked Within by Kelly Keaton. Shattered Souls and Ashes on the Waves by Mary Lindsay. The Mad Woman Upstairs by Catherine Lowell. The Legend Trilogy by Marie Lou to include Legend, Prodigy, and Champion. Wake, Fade, and Gone by Lisa McMahon. Cry is Cross by Lisa McMahon. And Crash and Bang by Lisa McMahon. A Court of Thorns and Roses and A Court of Mist and Fury by Sarah J. Mass. Throne of Glass and Crown of Midnight by Sarah J. Mass. And randomly, The Subtle Art of Not Giving a Fuck by Mark Manson. Moving down, I have The Picture of Dorian Gray by Oscar Wilde. My sister's copy of Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. The Tempest and Macbeth by Shakespeare. Sabriel by Garth Nix. Game Board of the Gods by Rochelle Mead. Wicked Lovely by Melissa Marr. 
Soundless by Rochelle Mead, the Vampire Academy Saga to include Vampire Academy, Frostbite, Shadow Kiss, and Blood Promise, all by Rochelle Mead. The Fire by Night by Teresa Messineo, The Host by Stephanie Meyer, Cinder, Scarlet, and Crest by Marissa Meyer, The Pursuit of Mary Bennett by Pamela Mingle, Unbroken and Ruined by Paula Morris, The Husband's Secret by Leanne Moriarty, The Night Circus by Aaron Morgenstern, The House at Riverton by Kate Morton, and Delia Shadow by Jamie Lee Moyer. The Chaos Walking Trilogy by Patrick Ness to include The Knife of Never Letting Go, Monster of Men, and The Ask and the Answer. Sleeping Giants by Sylvain Nouvelle. Uprooted by Naomi Novik. The Delirium Trilogy by Lauren Oliver to include Delirium, Pandemonium, and Requiem. The Rook by Daniel O'Malley. Aragon by Christopher Paolini. The Golden Compass by Philip Pullman. A Curious Beginning and a Perilous Undertaking by Deanna Rayborn. Lizzie and Jane by Catherine Rie. Salt to the Sea by Runa Septis. You Are a Badass by Jen Sincero. A Darker Shade of Magic by V.E. Schwab. When You Find Out What You're Made Of and Other Stories, as well as Mistakes I Made During the Zombie Apocalypse by Michelle Kilmer slash Michelle Von Eschen. Heartstone by L. Catherine White. The Lazarus War Book One Artifact by Jamie Sawyer. All right, and we're coming in hot into my room on the bottom couple of shelves where I still have the rest of my red books. So we're just going to talk about those. I have Something Sweeter, Sweetest Mistakes, and Truly Sweet by Candace Terry, which are all strips. I have Rules of the Game by Lori Wilde and Born Wild by Julianne Walker. Fangirl by Rainbow Roll. A Monster Calls by Patrick Ness. We have Grey Walker, Poltergeist, and Underground by Kat Richardson. Divergent by Veronica Roth. Siren, Undercurrent, and Dark Water by Trisha Rayburn. Life as We Knew It and This World We Live In by Susan Beth Pfeffer. Pfeffer, yeah. And Anna and the French Kiss by Stephanie Perkins. I have Pride and Prejudice and Zombies by um, Jane Austen and Seth Graham Smith. The Iron Worm Affair by Lilith St. Crow. Reboot and Rebel by Amy Tintera. The Fifth Wave by Rick Yancey. Dragon of the Lost Sea and Dragon Moor by Lawrence Yep. The Martian by Andy Weir. Skinned by Robin Wasserman. Twelfth Night by Shakespeare. As well as A Midsummer Night's Dream and Romeo and Juliet. We've got Secrets of the Demon. Touch of the Demon, Sins of the Demon, and Fury of the Demon by Diana Rowland. Falling Kingdoms by Morgan Rhodes. Article 5 and Breaking Point by Kristen Simmons. Ceremony by Leslie Marmon Silko. Eligible by Curtis Sittenfeld. And then lastly, Deadly Little Secret by Lori Faria Stolars. All right, guys, I think that's about it. Pretty much those are all of my red books. Those are all the books that I have in my collection that um, I am keeping, at least for now. It's kind of a great way to go through all of your stuff and see the things that you have and possibly look at the things that you would consider getting rid of because there are quite a few that I was looking at as I was pulling them out that I forgot I had that I don't know if I'm ever gonna read again. So I might have to get rid of them. So maybe an unhaul video will be coming up soon. If you wanna see that, let me know. Give it a thumbs up. Give me a comment down below, that'd be great. Otherwise, if you have any questions about any of the books that I had mentioned, please go ahead and give me a comment down below. We can start a discussion and talk about things. Otherwise, I think that'll be it for today. So if you like this video and would like to see more, please rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll check you guys out next time. Bye!